Okay, now we have the Sunday slate game. First off, we're going to start off with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus the Detroit Lions. The spread is six and a half. Earlier in the week, it was a six. It looks like it's crept up to six and a half, meaning that the public is now giving the Lions that six. So the number went up to six and a half. So it looks like the looks like the public is starting to hammer the Detroit. So let's dive into the numbers and I'll give you my picks for this game. All right. So for Detroit against the spread as a home team, they are five and four, margin of victory of eight points. As a home team favorite, same number, it's the same number. First conference teams, they are eight and five. Margin of victory of four and a half points, and against non divisional opponents, they are nine and three with a margin of victory of four and a half. Um, the thing about this Detroit team is they tend to perform well at home than they do away. You can obviously see that in Jared Goff's splits as well. Um, this is a team that loves to play at home, they love that Ford's field being packed, going crazy. That's what motivates them. That's what allows them to put up points. So when they're at home, they could be a very dangerous team. So that's something to kind of take a look into that as Tampa comes along. And then on the Tampa Bay side, um, as an away team, they are and they are eight and one in nine games. Eight and one in nine games as an away team with a margin of victory of two points. As an away underdog. They are seven and one with a margin of victory of about a point and a half. Against conference teams, they are eight and five, margin of victory of two points. And against non divisional opponents, they are nine and three with about a margin of victory of two points. This team loves to be the underdog on the road. Count us out. Give us the underdog money. They're damn near covering every game, they're keeping it close. So that's that's a pretty good trend, meaning that this team performs well on the road. Then they pretty much do on at home. So that's very impressive. Um, this year, Tampa is 2-0 when a spread is six or more as a road dog or as an underdog. Detroit is 2-2 two and two when they are favored six points or more. Both of these teams are pretty good against the run, but both of these teams are pretty suspect, suspect to the pass. Um, I do think this is going to come down to just Mayfield and Jared Goff just airing it out and who makes the most explosive plays and scores the most points. They, the Buccaneers have a pretty good red zone defense. They're also pretty good when it comes to converting um, third downs on offense. But Detroit's home... I do see that the Lions will be aggressive, especially going on fourth downs like Dan Campbell's like to do. Um, they'll get Montgomery, Gibbs going, Laporta, Amon Ra. Um, I just think that the Lions squeak this one out at home, but I do firmly believe that the Tampa Bay will cover that spread at six and a half points. Um, I My prediction score will be Tampa Bay 21 Detroit Lions 27. The line is six and a half. So if you do see that six and a half out there, I would definitely see if I could just hammer that on. I don't think it's going to go up to seven, but I do see that Tampa Bay, especially as a road dog, I can see them keeping it close to the Detroit Lions. It won't be a blowout game as most people might expect. And then the last game that we have is the Kansas City Chiefs versus the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are being favored at about two and a half points. This is going to be a great game. Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, spotlight game. Winner goes on to the next round to the championship game. So let's dive into the numbers. Buffalo Bills against the spread as a home team. They are five and four. Margin of victory of 14 points, which is the same information as if they are the home team favorite as well. Um, first conference teams, they are six and seven. Margin of victory is seven points. And against non-divisional opponents, they are five and seven with a margin of victory of eight points. Uh, Buffalo's been hot. 
there was a time in the season where they had no shot in the playoffs, or if so, a slip shot. They're just steam rolling, and they fought and clawed their way into the playoffs, and this Bills team is hungry. Um, so this is a team that's hot. This is a team that's hot. They're hungry, and they're coming against Mahomes. And then with the Chiefs um, away against against being for uh, the spread, as an away team, they are 4-3-1, and one, margin of victory of 2.5 points. As an underdog, Road team, undefeated, 1-0, margin of victory, they won by one point. First conference teams, 8-4-1, margin of victory, 5.5 points. And against non-divisional opponents, 6-5-1, with a margin of victory of 6 points. This Kansas City team scares me. They are good, good pass defense, but something about this wide receiver score. I mean, Rashi Rice had himself a game, but would this wide receiver group shine in their bright lights against the next round and catch a ball? Um, Mahomes is 3-3 three, three and three versus Buffalo. He is 1-0 at Buffalo, and he is 9-2-1 and one against the spread as an underdog, and that is including the regular season playoffs he is also undefeated in the divisional round so pretty much this Chiefs team when they're an underdog or when they get into the divisional round they cover and they don't lose that round so that's tricky um and then for the Bills Josh Allen is three and one against the Kansas City Chiefs he's Three and six against the spread in the postseason, and he's 0 and two against Mahomes in the playoffs. Will Josh Allen get it done? Will this Bills team get it done? And if you ask me, this Bills team gets it done. I am taking the minus two and a half. The reason being is because. I don't know if I can trust this Chiefs offense. I know they have Mahomes, but you have Kelsey dropping the ball and all these receivers dropping the ball. Pacheco runs hard, so if they could just lean the run game and kind of push through, they may have them a chance if Pacheco's having some having himself a game. But I know Mahomes is great as an underdog. I know he's undefeated as a divisional round. I just think Josh Allen gets it his way this time. Um, And the score that I have is 30 Bills, the Chiefs 27. I think the Chiefs might let Mahomes down this game and kick him out. So there you have it. Those are my predictions. Those are my best picks. And thank you for tuning in. And see you next time. Stay blessed.